Hello everyone, this is a word Academy, and in this video I'm going to solve uh, Mathematics 2022 GCE, uh, specifically question 2b, and this question is on a sequence and series. So we have this question which says, uh, given 3,612, find the nth term a geometric mean of 96 and 384 are some of the first eight terms of the progression. So how can you go uh, how can you go uh, about this question? So how can you answer this question? So the most important thing is to recognize that they have already told you that this is uh, the geometric GP. So in the GP, okay, so in the GP, you need to find the common ratio R, which is just R equals to the second term divided by the first term. So it's 6 divided by 3, and this is going to give you 2. Okay. And now from there, we will be able to apply the general formula. What is the general formula? Is that uh, a n is equal to a1 multiplied by common ratio r minus 1. So from there, we are just finding the nth term, the formula. So a n equals to the first term. So the first term is 3. is going to be 3 multiplied by the r, which is just 2. And to the power n minus 1. So this is all you need. So that is our question 1. And now on 2 is we need to find the geometric mean of these two numbers. So the geometric mean is just the, you multiply these numbers and then you find the square root. So all you have to do is uh, uh, let um, I'm just going to say let b equals to um, b equals to a times of b squared equals to a times c. So now you're going to say uh, the square root b squared meaning your a equals to that uh, 96 and your c equals to 3, 8, 4. So from there, now we can say that b equals to the square root of a times c. And this is going to be the square root of uh, a, which is 96, multiplied by this. Okay. And from there now, we can say that this one is going to actually give you 3, 3, 6, uh, 8, 6, and 4. So the square root is just going to be uh, 1, 9, 2. So that's how you can find the geometric mean of two numbers. So that's how you can find that one. Now the last one is about finding the last one is about finding the sum. Now when you're finding the sum, there are two formulas. So you have to check is your error, um, I mean is your error is your error less than one or is it your error is it greater than one? So, when you look at our R, it came out as 2. So, our R is greater than 1. So, in this case, the formula to apply is sum of the terms, meaning the n terms, is equal to the first term, open bracket, R to the power n, okay, to the power n minus 1, okay. Over this one, the R minus 1. Okay. So from there now, 
we know that your first term is 3, okay? Your R equals to 2, and your N is 8. So from the question there, they are saying that uh, sum of the first eight terms. So I mean that is n equals to eight. So from there, we can now start answering to say, so S8 equals to the first term is three, and this is going to be your R is two, raised to the power 8 minus 1 and your r is 2 minus 1 and this is now going to be it's going to be so this is going to be um, 3 okay open bracket then uh, 8 2 to the power 8 okay 2 to the power 8 so 2 to the power 8 is just uh, 256 minus 1 divide by 1 okay and this is going to be 3 open bracket and this is going to be 255 okay then this 255 multiply by 235 multiply by 3 is just going to be 7, 6, 8. Okay, and this is the answer for this uh, question. So that's how you can go about that. So thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel so that uh, you can never miss anything that we post on our channel so thank you so much guys we love you and i'll be able to see you in the next video thank you so much